Cirrhosis is the most common cause of liver failure and the reason for the most liver transplants in the United States. Hi, I'm Dr. Emily Bethay, Medical Director of Liver Transplantation at Mass General Brigham. So what is cirrhosis? Cirrhosis is scarring of the liver, the organ that filters and cleans the blood. Everything we eat and take in, food, drinks, medication, gets filtered through the liver. The liver also stores energy and helps build muscle, regulate blood clotting, and makes bile, which aids in digestion. With cirrhosis, scar tissue builds up over time and replaces healthy liver tissue. Damage from cirrhosis can be permanent and can lead to liver failure. Causes of cirrhosis include fatty liver disease, a condition that causes fat to build up in the liver, chronic alcohol use, autoimmune liver diseases, including bile duct diseases such as primary sclerosis and cholangitis, PSC, and primary biliary cholangitis, PBC, chronic viral infections such as hepatitis B or C, and other conditions, such as Wilson's disease and hemochromatosis. What are the symptoms of cirrhosis? You may not notice symptoms when cirrhosis is in its early stages. When they appear, early signs can include fatigue, itchy skin, new blood vessels forming on the surface of the skin, loss of appetite or unexplained weight loss, nausea or discomfort in the abdomen, and muscle cramps. As the disease progresses, symptoms may worsen and include yellow tint in the whites of the eyes, under the tongue, or under the surface of the skin, called jaundice, dark urine, bruising and bleeding, including internal bleeding, memory loss, confusion, and personality changes, fluid buildup in the abdomen, or swelling of the feet, ankles, and lower legs. How do we diagnose cirrhosis? Your doctor will ask about your symptoms and health history. We also want to know if anyone in your family has a history of liver disease. The test we use may include blood test to check liver function, ultrasound, MRI, CT scan, or other imaging to look at your liver, or liver biopsy, where we remove a small piece of tissue from your liver to look for signs of damage. How is cirrhosis treated? If you have liver disease, addressing the cause directly may stop the progress towards cirrhosis or improve symptoms. This could involve stopping alcohol use and getting treatment if needed, stopping medications that cause liver damage, losing weight, which can reverse fatty liver disease, dietary changes to improve liver function, and treatment for conditions such as viral hepatitis. If your liver stops working, transplant is the only known cure, although treatments to manage symptoms are available. If considering a liver transplant, you must undergo extensive testing and counseling with our transplant team to make sure you're healthy enough to undergo surgery and determine whether transplant is the right decision for you. Any patient who's determined to be a liver transplant candidate is placed on the National Liver Transplant Waiting List. There aren't enough livers for everyone who needs one. Transplants come from two different types of donors, a deceased donor or a living donor. Most living donors are family or friends of the recipient. Living donors undergo testing to ensure they're eligible to donate. Living donors have a portion of their healthy liver removed and placed in the recipient. Both the recipient and the donor's livers can grow back to normal size within a few months of surgery. No other organ can do this. Liver transplant is a long surgery. Most people stay in the hospital for one to two weeks and return to normal activities after several months. You need regular checkups after transplant, and you must take medications that suppress the immune system for the rest of your life to keep your body from rejecting the new liver. Today, Massachusetts General Hospital and Brigham and Women's Hospital have combined our liver transplant teams. Our collaboration means you have expanded treatment and liver disease management options, along with a more extensive care team. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Emily Bethay. To learn more about cirrhosis, click here. And don't forget to subscribe.